Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another opening and before we get started today, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. We finally hit our subscriber goal of 800 subscribers. I really do appreciate everyone. So I will be announcing the giveaway winners on Monday or Tuesday when I do the next video. I am going to a card show in Denver this weekend. So I'm going to go around and pick up a bunch of football slabs and that's what the winner is going to win. So stay tuned for that guys. But for today's video, we have Gold Standard. This is a product that I think it was overpriced for a little bit. It came down a little bit, so I decided, you know what, let's pick it up today. Guarantees you, what do we guarantee? Five autographs or memorabilia cards. We're looking for the new El Dorado Ultra Rare inserts. So we'll see what we can get today, guys. Again, I do appreciate everyone's support. And if you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and let's get ripping. All right, guys, here we go. We got gold standard. It's stickered at $350. I believe I paid. I, I did. I know. I don't believe. I know I paid $300 for it. Looking for the El Dorado Ultra Rare inserts. Find five autographs or memorabilia cards, which I hate when they say it like this. Most likely it's going to be two autographs and three memorabilia cards, if I'm correct. That's pretty much always how it is. But also, before I get into this, I just want to say so I know a lot of you guys probably do subscribe to run good life and a couple of videos a couple maybe a week or two ago he posted about how either wax prices need to change or the prices of singles are too undervalued and when he went off on that rant i completely agreed with everything he said he said it per you know just perfectly if you're spending 300 dollars on this if you get a you know an anthony richardson auto numbered you know it should be worth more than the box you know but Nowadays, you hit, you know, you buy a Spectre box for a thousand bucks, you hit a Kenny Pickett RPA, which that would have been like the top guy back then. That doesn't even pay for half the box nowadays. So that means singles are tremendously either undervalued or wax is completely overpriced. And so that's why a lot of the times I haven't really been lately been buying a ton of the new products just because like even right now you can't even get CJ Stroud autos or Bryce Young autos. So just kind of deflating a little bit, but I mean, ripping is still fun. So now I'm just looking kind of just for the better deals, you know? So hope you guys agree with that. But so we are a little late on gold standard. This, just, this did come out a couple weeks ago, but hey, I got it in for you guys. And you guys have been actually absolutely killing it on the channel. Got tons of new subscribers, tons of new views. So again, I really do appreciate everyone's support, guys. And let's get into it. Okay. Whoa, okay. So we're starting off with a Deuce Vaughn RPA out of 149 for the Cowboys. This will this guy's obviously will be a little bit of a shorter opening. Let's pull from the back. I think the back has some base cards. Yep, so we have a Jaden Reed out of is that that's a Jaden Reed out of 14. Or yep, that's 14. Jaden Reed out of 14. And then there's something else behind that. <laughs> then we got a Davis Mills out of 75. So we got a Davis Mills out of 75. And then a Jaden Reed out of 14. I think that's actually jersey number. Is that jersey number? No, I think his jersey number is 11. Is it 11? I think it's 11. It's 11 or 14. Either one. <laughs> Jaden Reed. Let's pull from the back. So we got a gold rush of Ramondre Stevenson. That's going to be out of 299. I really do like the way the gold standard cards look, though. They do a pretty decent job, I'd say. I'm not – I think they look good. I mean, what goes wrong? Gold gold always looks good. And then our next card is going to be – there we go. That's one of the guys we need. He doesn't have any autographs live, so some of his patches do sell for an actually pretty decent price. We have a CJ Stroud. Newly minted patch out of three ninety nine. Obviously, I doubt it's going to be game worn. Enclosed memorabilia is not from any specific game or event. They really need to change that, I think. Obviously, the hobby. Everyone knows. Everyone's been saying it. We need to get some more game view stuff. But either way, pretty cool card. Newly minted CJ Stroud for one of the top young guys right now. He's absolutely killing it. That last game against Trevor Lawrence was, that was a pretty good game, man. He's looking good. Both... I mean, he's obviously looking the best out of everyone. So CJ Stroud, that's definitely going to be our best pull so far. Next one, we got a Jalen Waddle gold gear out of 299 as well. At least that one wasn't a napkin. We have some color in that one. Materials not guaranteed by Panini, obviously. So what is that we have? Yep, I was correct. We have three memorabilia cards, and then our last autograph card is going to be... 
DJ Moore out of 49. Good as gold. I will actually take that because he's kind of been on fire last night. I think he had 11 or 12 catches last night. I mean, the game was sucked. I mean, the Bears won without scoring a touchdown. So that'll kind of give you um, a review on how the game was. Wasn't really an exciting game. But DJ Moore, I think he's a good player. You know, obviously, if you had a little bit of a better quarterback, he could be doing a lot better. But he seems to be Justin Fields' go-to guy. So I'll take that. I actually bet his over receptions last night and won a little bit of money. I think I bet like 30 bucks and won like 60 bucks or something like that. So pretty cool. Gold, good as gold. DJ Moore, I'll take that one. He's a known receiver, better than a no-name practice squad guy. And then again, our first RPA was going to be Deuce Bond for the Cowboys, rookie out of 149. So again, guys, I really hope that you guys did enjoy that video. And also, guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the giveaway. Would you guys prefer me to um, go buy like $150 worth of slabs? You know, just like some random top, not random, but like some top name players, Hertz, Mahomes slabs, you know, just some big name stuff. Or would you rather me send you like 150 bucks so you can go buy a player maybe that you PC or something like that? Because I know I'm not going to be able to pick what you know, the winner likes totally. So leave a comment down below. I'll be looking at that too. Or would you rather me give away a box of wax? So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to be given away for the giveaway in the next video. I'll be looking at the comments this weekend while I'm at the Denver card show. And if anyone is going to be at the Denver card show this weekend, come say what's up to me. I'll give you a card too or something like that. So again, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day, guys.